Hi everybody, it's Brad from Big Family Homestead, and in this video I have six cool things you can do with coffee grounds. So let's get cracking. That's right, party people of YouTube, I have six. Count them six cool, interesting, unusual, maybe not so often thought of, or at least I thought they were cool, things that you can do with coffee grounds. Now, coffee grounds are just about everywhere. And what do you do with them? I mean, there's plenty of uses for coffee and beverages, right? Well, there's still tons and tons of things you can do with the coffee grounds when they're done. So, we're gonna get right to that list, but before I do, please don't forget to click subscribe. It does help my family out, and hey, if you're feeling in an extra generous mood, ask somebody else to subscribe too. I'd greatly, greatly appreciate it. So the first on our list is, you can use those coffee grounds to be a plant food for your high acid loving plants, like blueberries. Helps the plants out every which way. It's kind of like a steroid for those berries. So yay on that. But also, if you are going to be planting carrots, not only can you combine those grounds with the carrots, it makes it much, much easier to actually seed those carrots, but it also will help repel root maggots for your carrots. So bam, awesome. Now, if you're like me, you're always in the garden or cutting up vegetables for dinner or preparing something and getting stinkiness all over your hands, like lots of fresh onion or garlic, well, all you gotta do is take a little bit of uh, coffee grounds and put them in the old hands and scrub, scrub away, and those foul, nasty odors are a thing of the past. Keep in mind, though, that if you don't like the smell of coffee, well, that's the trade-off you're gonna make because it smells like coffee now, but for me, that's a good thing. Now this next one is also only for the people who like the smell of coffee. You can actually put it into your wood burning fireplace or your fireplace and it is going to fill up the house with that nice smell of fresh brewed coffee, which is very, very cool if you like that coffee smell. Also, when you're getting ready to clean out a fireplace, take some of those damp coffee grounds and you're gonna go ahead and sprinkle them in and among the ashes and this will cut down on the amount of poof, ash, dust that gets all over everything. So very cool tip there too. Feed your worms. Absolutely feed your worms. If you're not into vermicomposting for your garden, you should be. It's basically raising worms using your scraps and some various things, uh, but worms love those coffee grounds and they will in turn turn that stuff into some of the most crazy awesome fertilizer that your plants have ever seen or heard of and they will rise up and call you blessed and you will have big old veggies. I mean big veggies. Yeah. Now this next one is super cool for the crafty type people. You can take your coffee grounds and slash or coffee and a little bit of water, whatever mix floats your boat, but you can take and make an antique looking paper. Yeah, you basically mix the coffee in with the grounds and you put some paper into a pan and you let it soak till you've got it looking cool, maybe crumble it up a little bit to give that, that old authentic look. Then you're gonna rinse it off, hang it up to dry, and you have something that looks like the Declaration of Independence was written on it and that is cool, cool, cool. And lastly, but not leastly, at least for this list, you can take some coffee grounds and it works really great as a way to cut grease when you're trying to clean out some dirty pots, pans, yada, yada, yippy, skippy. You take those grounds, you get them in there and you use it as an abrasive, but it also something to do with the coffee grounds and the acidity level of it works to help cut grease. And so that makes your job a lot easier, which makes me a lot happier. There you have it anyway. Those are my six cool things. Please don't forget to put down anything that you know of as a cool use that I have maybe not mentioned down in below in the comments. Please pass the video on, like and share and subscribe. You guys know the drill. I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead and you have an amazing day.